Okay. But it was revealed he had told Queen Elizabeth he was taking some of the late princess's possessions into safekeeping. After a trial said to have cost British taxpayers one and a half million pounds, Paul Burrell walked from court a free man. Surrounded by media, the servant who kept so many of the royal family's secrets remained silent, leaving his solicitor to question why police didn't thoroughly investigate his client's statement. In that statement, Mr Burrell referred to a private audience granted to him by the Queen. It's surprising that no inquiries were made of the Queen in relation to that meeting. Today's shock turnaround came as the man who was servant and confidant of the late princess was about to be called into the witness box. He denied stealing 310 items belonging to Diana. The prosecutor told a stunned courtroom Mr Burrell had mentioned to the Queen that he had taken some of the princess's papers for safekeeping. In the dock, Mr Burrell stared straight ahead as it was revealed the Queen didn't tell anyone of the conversation until last week. Following further clarification with the Queen, steps were taken to bring the information to the attention of police. As a result, the trial was no longer viable. So the monarch became the witness that destroyed the Crown's case. Although Mr Burrell has been cleared of any wrongdoing, Many points about the case have been left unanswered. Paul Burrell is now in hiding after being cleared of stealing items belonging to Princess Diana. Bouquets for sale as usual at Paul Burrell's Cheshire Flower Shop today, but only brickbats for the police, the Crown Prosecution Service and the Queen. The trial ended suddenly, and so for those looking for Burrell, has the trail. He's been moved from his home village to a secret location with the help of his family. The trial is over, an inquest has started. Among the questions being asked, was it really only last week that the Queen remembered that crucial meeting with Paul Burrell? What will happen to hundreds of Diana's possessions that Burrell kept at his home? How could the police have got it so wrong? And after keeping silent, will the royal servant now be tempted to sell his side of the story? The private meeting at which Paul Burrell told the Queen he'd removed some of Diana's possessions took place at around the time of this investiture, five years ago. Conspiracy theories abound, but most believe the palace has been sloppy rather than sinister. I think it is inexplicable that she said nothing for so long. Um, but I always tend to feel, with, with where the royal family is concerned, their communications are so abysmal, particularly between themselves, that I would always go for cock-up rather than conspiracy. As for who now gets the items at the centre of the case, currently in the hands of Scotland Yard, a not guilty Paul Burrell is entitled to them back. But the Spencers have an interest too, and a very public squabble is unlikely. As for the police, there'll doubtless be an internal inquiry into why leads were ignored and why Prince Charles and Prince William were misled. Paul Burrell too may seek answers and compensation by suing Scotland Yard for malicious prosecution. Explaining some of the circumstances which led to the dramatic collapse of his theft trial. What was said at that meeting between the Queen and Paul Burrell, which, when it was finally revealed, caused the case against him to collapse? And why didn't he draw more attention to the conversation in his own defence? Tonight, we can offer the first clues. Paul Burrell left the Old Bailey yesterday without saying anything about the extraordinary disclosure that the Queen had known all along that he was keeping some of the Princess's possessions. In a telephone conversation this evening, Mr Burrell told me, I never realised that what I told the Queen could clear me. He'd assumed that, like every other conversation he'd ever had with her, the details of it must always remain confidential. During the course of the trial, the role of the Spencers, Diana's sister, Lady Sarah McCorkadale, and her mother, Frances Shand Kidd, came under close scrutiny. Mr Burrell, it was stated in court, was concerned that they were shredding a large number of important documents. These were the words, he told me, he used to the Queen in relation to those documents. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, I'm going to keep these things safe. It was those 11 words uttered to the Queen which yesterday led to the collapse of the trial and Paul Burrell's complete exoneration. Has agreed to tell his story for a whopping fee. The one-time Royal Butler has been served up nearly a million dollars for his secrets. And in hiding, poor Burrell today dangled the carrot in a radio interview. I do want to come out and tell you what ha what's happened to me. Uh, you know, I have, I have got a great story to tell. 
but some salacious snippets had already been leaked. We've learned, for example, that when Diana was on a very hot date, she would take all her clothes off and put on nothing but a fur coat and jewels. The paper's first instalment, though, seemed to be lacking such steamy detail. Officially, Burrell says his story will focus only on the period following his arrest for stealing hundreds of items belonging to Princess Diana. He uh, will not betray Diana, he will not betray the Queen, and he won't do anything that will upset Princes William and Harry. The Conservative Party is demanding a judicial inquiry into the collapse of the poor Burrell trial. It ended in controversy last week after the Queen's sudden recollection of a conversation she had with the butler during which he told her he was holding some of Diana's papers for safekeeping. Her Majesty has been criticised for her 11th hour intervention, but today she won the crucial support of her Prime Minister. The Queen herself has behaved entirely properly throughout. Damien Ryan reporting for Nightline. And after the, the fiasco surrounding Paul Burrell's theft trial, Britain's Prime Minister has leapt to the Queen's defence. Paul Burrell has now agreed to tell the story of the police investigation and trial. The deal's been done with the Daily Mirror for around £300,000, and Mr Burrell told a radio station he wanted the story to be heard. I do want to come out and tell you what ha what's happened to me. Uh, that The great British public out there uh, has been a tremendous support to Maria and myself and my family. The role of the Spencer family will feature in Mr Burrell's story, Diana's sister, Lady Sarah McCorkadale, and her mother, Frances Shand Kidd, were both prosecution witnesses. But the Spencer family is now saying privately that it too was misled by the police about the evidence against Mr Burrell. And today, the Prime Minister gave the Queen his full backing. The Queen acted, in my view, entirely properly throughout. I don't think it's right that we change the rules in relation to the Queen giving evidence in court. The Queen was at home to backbench MPs, some of the very people who've been muttering about sending the bill for the Burrell trial round the palace, even about the obstruction of justice. Was the trial discussed? Nobody was saying. Prince Charles, on an official visit to Italy, is said to be saddened by the whole affair and to feel a particular sadness for Paul Burrell.